Alright guys, welcome back to Gilded Gaming. <laughs> Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Thankfully it's working this time. A second ago we just started the stream and, and it was working. We're still having this. What is this? Look okay. at A shadow on my green screen or something? I'm really not sure. Bugging me though. Look at it. Right there. Ah, it's gone. All right, cool. Well, let's get back to it. We've been playing a ton of Tactics Ogre today. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We gotta get back to Trails in the Sky too. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything. So, where were we? I think we were farming up stuff to open up our orbment slots, which I, it, it may be overkill, but I was having fun doing it. So there's that too. Um. So yeah, we were killing the shiny, shiny pom poms, right? Shiny, shiny pom pom. We'll kill some more of them. We have to also find some kind of monster on the Milch Main Road, which is where we're at. Right, we gotta kill something we get our EP up. I'm gonna just speed through these fights. That's that thing. Let's move out. Well, it's just louder than Tactics so Ogre. I guess we have credit for killing the shiny palm. I'd like to be able to kill them in one hit. Honestly. <laughs> we kill two at a time. And then maybe we can try and kill them on the Sepith turn and like get extra Sepith because they're dropping like a ton of it. Like 20 each. like the main quest that we gotta do but there's also there's a side quest out here we should look into let's look at our book after this and see what it is we have to do seeing these monsters honestly they blend in with the scenery for me sometimes they, they're invisible from a distance so you don't see them to your light right upon them and they they don't stand out incredibly from the background It's a while to build your CP back up. All right, we're good to go. 
Another level. I'm actually shooting for levels, but if we get them, I guess it's fine. This game was made like originally. That's that. Let's move it. Look that up. All right, we're good to go. Definitely think we've uh, mastered the uh, fights around this area. Oh, we got his uh, 200 up. Now we just ate hers. at the area. There it is. Um, save the game real quick. Case. Let's see if we can't kill two of them this time. One of them already ran. Two of them already ran? Jeez. She still has 200 left. I could have tried to wait for the seventh up and done. Yeah, what's done is done. 
I don't think we can really even do anything to them without craft drop built up. Repels hindrances to movement. Prevents pe freeze and petrify. Cool. Nifty. Alright. So, where does it show? Yeah, we got quite a lot. Not enough to unlock everything, but we can do some more stuff. I want to buy some more of the different types of sepith that we don't have yet, too. how fast she can get her home. Alright, so she has two left and it'd be 130 to open them all. And he has three left. Let's get his cheap one. And then now it'll be 200 to open the rest of his. What else do you want? We get some of these. This lowers our art EP cost. This seems pretty good. What's it cost? 10, 20, 10. We got plenty. Time to cast arts is cut. That seems really good too. to unlock all of them if we want to. is isn't really that much. All right, let's move some of these around. Let's see. What kind of combinations we can make. We get extra time stuff in here. Lock up. Anti-sept. That's a new one. Prevents the casting of arts. Oh, it's silence. Cool. the buffs it gives you so this one gives strength and defense lower the casting time lower the cost raise your speed i'm looking at those more than the spells honestly i would need a heal spell Actually, we have all those items now we don't really need it <laughs> come to think of it we can just use items These heal 200. The food that we made heals 150. Thank you. 
You can buy more than 99 at a time of this. We'll basically have a full stack of them and still have money left over. Is kind of the goal right now. Ninety-five of them, and thirty-five hundred left. Cool. Yeah, we don't need healing because we have those, and those heal basically just as well without even the cast time. That seems good. Now let's see about this um termination business. Cool. How do I get to our? I guess we can do the notebook from here. A quicker way to it, all right. All right, this one. Ferocious monster known as the pine plant has been spotted on the Milch ro main road. How have we not run into this yet? Um, mine is the bracer gill. Maybe I need to talk to the guild about it first. No, I just have my purple farm.
Well, I guess we roll around. Maybe it's one of the plant type monsters, right? But maybe it'll be on the map or something. Our map. Nothing on there. Take the next, the next area. Nothing on there. So there's nothing on the map. Let's just search around some more. And clear the areas out around all three of the different Miltrode screens, and one of them's gonna have this monster in it, right? Oh, oh who is it? Here we go. A large monster is prowling around. Just <laughs> because I want to save. You chose leave it alone. Lose a bracelet. Alright. This is a different kind of monster. Probably weak to fire though, right? Yes it is. We both have fire, so good luck with that. Oh, it's gonna use arts too, huh? We can try silencing it. Oh, I don't think we're gonna have to. <laughs> Never mind. Did they it now? Oh, oh, it self destructs. Well, that's not nice. Thankfully, we're okay. Nice. Oh, we have enough to unlock another bot, too. Courts. Good work. It seems you completed your objective without any trouble. If you finish any other jobs, please come back and report again. All right, so we ranked up. Cool. Um, we get new courts. How do we slot? That works out. Information. Be able to perceive enemy status. Yeah, hell yeah.
Thanks, I think. That was a shame bomb. I also drop a crest charm. I don't know what that does. Um. Ah, there's the quick way to get the recipe screen. I remember that. And there's this. Okay. All right. So let's head to the Perzel farm, I guess. In case we decide we need something on the road. So, let's see. We don't have any impede. We don't have any blind. Oh, we're out of time stuff. I just said to get a lot of time stuff. EP. So we, we didn't manage to get a blind. We need 50 for a blind. Holy crap. It's only a 10% success. Does that mean on every hit, though? Because that might, that might be okay. Information thing gave me any more information. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I guess it's more. Okay. some more because this is the next story mission and I don't want to miss anything. There's other areas we haven't gone to. I feel like we've gotten a lot more powerful so maybe we could check out like we never got to explore the tower. Can we still go to the tower? Can we go to the mine? Was it there was a forest that we had access to, right? I want to see if these places are actually blocked off or if we can go to them. Because people told me that I could miss quests and that it's really easy to miss stuff. And if you expand the story, it's like point of no return kind of thing. So I just want to explore. We'll have 200 again. We can kill some more shiny palms. Why not? Okay. Let's see if we can actually explore this place now. Looks like it. There wasn't anything on the first floor. And we never made it past this room, right? 
Let's look. New enemy. Preemptive. Let's see. Weak to fire. Fairly harmless but dangerous in groups. Very much, but hey, it's up. Skipper. Okay. You guys all drop different items too. You can theoretically farm if you put up a need. A little information thing tells, you, tells us what they drop too. Seems like it would be nice. Time to have a sandwich. Let's move out. Little snack. Still your EP. That's not cool. Already got the treasure, don't be greedy. <laughs> uh, every chest is gonna have a unique it's a unique second time sentence, huh? The shining palm is giving me out. Hopefully, there's more in here than a tear bomb. Man, it's hard to see the enemies. a maximum amount of sepith we can hold of each type. It probably is, right? Ooh, that's a better looking chest. You took everything you had to offer. What more do you want? I want it all. Oh, well, that's an upgrade. Good 
fifth floor. Andre, boarding group. I saw it coming and I was still like, yeah, it probably won't happen, right? I have something to raise him up. Oh, yeah, yeah, reviving bomb. For this whole floor, though. Pot left in a shell. I'd ask you how long that pot luck has been in the chest, and if you feel lucky. Oh, chest over there. So maybe you come back down to this floor. That looks like a dang teleporter. I think we have what we need for this yet. This is all we can do here for now. Thank <laughs> you. 
My CP is really low because he died. I'll die again. the drops off of them. Guess that's it for now. Looks like we're definitely coming back here later with the teleporter and everything we found at the top. Wait a minute, is this a different set of upstairs? Is this how you get to the treasure chest? This is where I was. Wait a minute. Does this floor have more than one upstairs?
go. Oh, there's a monster in the chest. Crap! What are these enemies? We have 200 hit points. Explodes when defeated, so kill it from afar. Right. He's going to move before we do that. Hit one down. Okay, prepare to use arts. Gotcha. Airstrike. Okay. We can deal with this. We'll be next to it. We'll be next to it. All right. Going so bad. That's that then. Let's move out. Three XP. What do we get for an item though? Ooh, that's nice. Tin staff. Apparently someone already looked looted this chest. Now who could that be? <laughs> that's so sassy. Okay. Three more attack on our weapon, sure. another way up. Cool. How do we get out of here? Wanna go this way? getting our grind on with these places but you know we got a weapon upgrade so it's hard to complain you know, like a teleport item or bell or something
Okay. Well, found some stuff. Definitely have to go back there later. Fast travel or something, yeah? Oh, this is the way the mine. Uh, they're done. Head back to town. Maybe unlock another slot. Let's go to the prison farm. Right. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So many bugs. get different orbitals you have to unlock later or if this is the only one for this game. Purzel Farm. What we got here? Hi, it's Joshua. Did you come to play with me? Wish I had time, but I'm afraid this day I'm here for work. Work? That's no fun if we can't play. <laughs> Maybe later if there's time. These kids here really like you, Joshua. Oh, Joshua, Estelle. Hi, Cher. How you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. Theo's outside if you want to talk to her, though. Been a while, hasn't it? Estelle and Joshua too? Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're here on Bracer business. We heard that you've been having some trouble with monsters. Estelle and Joshua explained that they are here to do their father's work because he's away. You finished all your training? That's wonderful news. Maybe we can help you after all. So there really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? Regrettably, that's been the case the past several days now. Thanks to which I'm suffering from a lack of sleep, which means the monsters only come out at night. 
You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering milk and vegetables any time now. Firm. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Purzel. How's everything getting on these days? Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, what brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Tio? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand today from the Bracer Guild. Estelle hands Mr. Purzel the guild referral and Joshua explains that they are taking over for their father while he's away. Is that so? But don't you think this job is a little dangerous for just the two of you to handle? I agree. I'd feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Don't sweat it. We're bracers, after all. And taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Hmm. Well, all right, then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Purzel. Then, could you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid our fields gnawing on anything that they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. We've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures, if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover of night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. And how about a load of... How about taking a load off until then? I assume you'll be also joining us for dinner, right? You said the magic word. You bet I will. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mrs. Purzel. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time to toiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you up something special that'll live up to your expectations. That was delicious. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever, Tio. <laughs> That's because she gets excited to cook whenever we had guests over for meals. I really feel bad for Joshua, though, with the little ones jumping all over him like that. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kid. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If made that, I'd be more blown away by the fact that the children were playing with such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit of an over exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely courageous, courteous, and maybe even a little tad reserved, but. You get to know him, he's a really caring young man. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it, too, gives him points in my book. You really think so? Think about it. With those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, and lush black hair, only natural he'd be a target for all the young girls. Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? Rumor has it that more than just a few girls have asked to go out with him. I hear he turned them all down, though. I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how I should even begin to describe his secret of nature upon hearing this, but how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me. If you were a boy, I imagine it'd be diff a different story, but as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Huh? Why would I? Estelle, you're in there, aren't you? About time to do our rounds. All right, I'm coming. I'll be back after Joshua and I get the job done, Tio. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Oh, all right. Be careful out there, Estelle. Hey, Claire, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream, sir. That girl, she's either completely out of touch with matters of the heart or just plain dense. Poor Joshua, he really has his work cut out for him. It seems as though the monsters always show up about this time. I better get outside and take a look around. What's going on, Estelle? I've got to ask, Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Come on, now. Where are you coming up with all this stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? Even though we've had our fair share of fights, we're all good memories for me and now. And 
what I mean to say is I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. So, so if there's ever anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know, about things like trouble with your love life and whatnot. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I just wanted to let you know that I'm here to listen. If you need someone to talk to, that's all. Let's hurry up and get out there so we can kick this monster butt. <laughs> what kind of nonsense is Tio putting into that girl's head? Secrets, huh? Oh, he got secrets. It's not what you're thinking about. Wow. It's really dark out here in the countryside. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first and then move out to the field, stable, and greenhouses? We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get a save before we do this. All right. These are greenhouses, I guess. I should have figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of the orb mints triggers this place in a romantic ambiance. It makes it feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You are definitely a ditz, Estelle. At least it's better than being dense like someone I know. Awfully quiet. All I hear are the bugs chirping. It doesn't look as if they've shown up yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. Hey, Joshua, did anyone ever tell you this, that story of as a kid? You know, one about babies being born in a cabbage patch? There's another question entirely out of the blue. And no, I was told about an angel with silver wings who delivers them. Interesting. But the explanation for where babies come from differs depending on the region, huh? How about we get back to work? Okay. Realizing if I do have to read it, I don't like to go through all the talking again. Uh, where else are we supposed to go? Um, over here. Does say talk? But to like the horse? Or the cows? No monsters here. Alright, let's keep moving. Check our map here. So we got, let's see, we got the greenhouses, the fields, the stable, and the house. There's anywhere else to go. I don't know what this building is up here. We got up there. I feel like we have to kind of go around like this to get up there, maybe. Get back here, you little furball. You can still sense its presence. It's staying put on the farm for the moment. Well, good. Because it's about to get caught. <laughs> I got him. I think it's time to teach this critter a lesson. Now here's where our job really starts to So stay alert and don't let your guard down. Ooh. about these guys crop munchers and a giant crop muncher not weak to anything special talent is to play dead leader of the pack smart enough to use art attacks favors eye poking attack wonder if we should like blind him so he can't not blind him mute him so he can't cast a spell Try it. Once we have the ability. That's strength up. Let's use it. 
Don't have to worry about messing up the crops, Joy. It's munching on the crops, so no. Nice. Ooh, we got strength up, but it didn't get to use it. Nice. Alright, so we got bonus crit. I wonder I do hurricane. Oh, I can't quite get all three, can I? He's standing in the perfect spot to get all three. Oh, two's still good. Oh, the whiff. Zero. Nice. All three at once. My goodness, the work of a bracer is something else. You kids have done a fine job rounding up these critters. <laughs> it's nothing, really. I wanted to ask you though, now that we've been that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? We really have to exterminate them. Um I don't, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Now that we've given these critters a good thrashing, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Still, how about that how's that going to benefit anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? We're here to do a job about exterminating the monsters, remember? But in any case, we're here to do a job in Dad's place. If the same thing happens again, what will you say for yourself? I see what you're getting at, but... You know, it was only some vegetables that were damaged, so... What do you think about letting it slide this time? You know, after taking a beating like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. You know, Mr. Purcell. But in this case, I strongly advise suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of those creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these critters just this once? Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I want to object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know that you had... that you... You had come all this way up here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. Well, that's that then. All right, you critters. You better count your blessings. If I catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now scram. <laughs> well, I'll consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back to the house and hit the sack? The two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Joshua? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. Huh? Are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I couldn't feel any compassion. At times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself. Estelle? I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years, and I'm confident in saying that your strengths and weakness is better than anyone. I know your strengths and weakness is better than anyone. Probably even more than you yourself. 
I won't allow you to just disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say that you're broken again. I'm sorry, it was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. You know what? Believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? Your real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. A little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Estelle, I... Joshua, you were able to lay bare your own weakness today. You learned to trust someone in other, other than yourself. For that, I'm happy. I don't know what your point is, but I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. Is that... <laughs> I have a whole lot more where that came from. But how about we call it a night, and after this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, Estelle. And thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Leap tight. Thank you both. You did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for the night again when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of my best cooking next time you come. Thanks for the invitation, Tio and Mrs. Purzel. We'll definitely be back to take you up on your, that when our work when our lo workload settles down. Talking is hard sometimes, man. All right, how about we head back to the guild? After we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. To the city. Good morning, how did the job at the farm go? Um, we hit a few bumps in the road, but let me give you a brief report of the details. Joshua gives Ina a rundown of last night's event at the farm. Receive payment for Purzel Farm Monsters. Okay. Current rank, junior, bracer, 8th class. I see, so you ended up setting the monsters free because the Purzel family requested you to do so? I think it was premature on their part, but I won't pursue the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things at that? The mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are ways that we can protect those around us, and there are as many forms of justice as there are stars in the sky. As a bracer, it's your job to be able to discern these things. Indeed, our work has very profound implications if you think about it in that way. That's because we aren't an organization that deals strictly with monster problems. We also intervene when disputes arise between nations. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and inflexible problem-solving skills are also required. A sharp mind and problem-solving ability, huh? Serious? The road to the big leagues sounds a lot steeper than I originally thought. <laughs> well, then you only... Your only choice is to devote yourself to working hard every day. And since you're both here, why don't I give you the details of your next job? Those are the words I've been waiting to hear. I'm ready for anything, so what do you got lined up for us this time? Another monster that needs good whipping? Not this time. The next job will entail the transportation of goods. And get this, your client is none other than Mayor Klaus himself. Really? A request from the mayor? You think it'll be alright leaving such an important task up to us? From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job details. Anything else going on? Yes. Mushroom hunt? Looking for a rare mushroom that grows where there are rich deposits of septium in the ground. Should be an easy, fun job. It's probably by the mine, right? Details, please come seek me out. My name is Orvid, and I'll be waiting at the landing port. Long term. Orbit replacement? Short term. Freddy. I'm looking for someone to replace a malfunctioning orbment light in the road lamp on Milch Main Road. For details, please see the vendors. Okay. Medical necessities. Father Divine. I am searching for a flower known as a bear claw and a savory pinion 
The former is native to the forest of Mistvald, south of Roland, and the latter comes from the insect-like monsters. I'm pretty sure I have a savory pinion already. Anyone who finds these items, please come and see me at Roland Chapel. All right, so we got to get a bear claw from from the Mistvald. CWO Ashton, that's over at the, yeah, the bridge, yeah. The soldiers stationed at Vert Bridge are going to undergo special training and are looking for a few good men or women to play the parts of enemy soldiers. If you're up to the task, please contact Chief Warrant Officer Ashton at the Vert Bridge checkpoint on the west end of the main road. Okay. The orbit placement's a short-term one. Okay. What's going on there? So you were trained by Shara then? Yep, you got it. So I guess we're in the same boat. In fact, it's my pride and joy to say that I trained under Shara. She's considered to be one of the best bracers in the entire kingdom. I've worked together with her and I can tell you that her nickname Silver Streak isn't for show. It, it isn't? Beginning with your father Cassius, Roland Branch is blessed with some extremely skilled bracers. I guess Shara is really talented then, isn't she? Hearing this coming from someone else makes me realize it all over again. All right, looks like the dialogue's updated again. Means we gotta talk to everybody. <laughs> oh, jeez. Please ask Mayor Klaus directly regarding the details of the next job. Mayor Klaus's residence at the east of town. I'm guessing you already know that, right? You are correct. All right, let's look around. Ten years ago, the Imperial Army broke through our borders in great numbers and trampled the entire kingdom. But we were able to drive them out through a darn near miraculous lightning quick military operation. Without that plan, Relent would probably be a part of Empire's territory today. I was assigned to the unit in I was assigned to the unit in Relent and fought in the war, but my leg was injured by a piece of flying shrapnel. Without a plan, Relent would probably be a part of the Empire's territory today. Okay. Recently, my husband's been doing well with his work. I wish my father would just recognize him as a suitable successor. Here in the timber industry, woodsmen don't just grow on trees. Don't just grow trees to be used. Woodsmen watch over the forest, live with the forest, give thanks for their bounteous blessings. When a person can do all of these, then that they can be called a real woodsman. My daughter's husband is still half a man in that respect. If my daddy's not around, I do my best to help out my mommy. I help her with the cooking, cleaning, and laundry, too. Don't you think I'm a big help? I just received word from the mine where my husband works. It seems like they discovered something incredible on a new hole. A new load. I wonder what it was they found. Me, too. airliners are equipped with huge machine called orbital engines or some such thing they are said to be to use an orbit structure as well it seems that some big wig professor was the one who developed them now that's something to talk about hey hey there you two new bracers seem to be having some success lately i've been hearing a lot about your hard work recently yeah it's because we're still new at this so we have a lot of extra we have to work extra hard that's encouraging to hear you guys actually came at a good time. I've got an urgent job that needs to be taken care of. You think you'd be up for the task of replacing an orbit, lighting the road lamp along Mitch Milch Main Road? Just leave it to us. If you're fine with us doing the job, then we'll gladly accept. Thanks, I really appreciate this. I completely forgot I needed to be replaced today. First off, I'll need to give you the replacement part. This is the replacement orbit? That's right. I want you to replace the orbit light in the main and road lamp number six on the Milch Road to the west. It's the sixth road lamp that you'll come across counting from Roland's west entrance. Make sure to get the right one. 
think I've got it. The sixth road lamp from Roland's West Entrance, right? Once you've found the road lamp, you'll need to open the maintenance panel. You'll need a six-digit combination to open it. Are you serious? Yep, the combination for the sixth road lamp is 544818. Sorry, but could you repeat that again? It's 544818. That's right. Good memory, Joshua. Show off. After the combination is entered and the panel will open, and after that, all that's left is to replace the orbit. It may seem like a simple task, but make sure not to mess it up. The road lamp may have been out of order for a while now. I see. The light of the orbit keeps the large monsters away, right? It's not much more than an unconscious dislike for them. But if they do go out, then we run into real problems. Which is why I'm asking you to do the job, just in case. These road lamps are placed just off the road in areas where monsters are most likely to appear. Well, you just leave those monsters to me and I'll take care of them. But I'd better write down that combination before I forget. Then maybe you should let me deal with the combination instead. I'll leave it up to you two to divide up the work amongst yourselves. That should be everything you need to know, so good luck. If you need to double check or cancel the job, then come talk with me again. Okay. Let's go take care of that real quick. The sixth one, huh? Let's see. Road lamp, road lamp. Is this one? This isn't one, right? Let's say it's a one, two, three. Four, five, six. From what Freddy said, I think this is the road lamp. I'm fairly certain this is the right one, too. It says road lamp six on the panel as well. You're right, it does. Alrighty, then let's just get to work and finish this job. Unfortunately, it may not be that easy. What do you mean? Where do these monsters come from? Looks like the orbit really has burnt out. Anyway, one of us will need to fend off the monsters while the other replaces the orbit. Yeah, you're right. Well then. Oh, we have to choose which one of us does it. One for matters. Um. Um. How about you handle them, Joshua? you really know how to replace one of those things? Come on, Joshua, how hard could it be? Even I can do something as simple as a replacement orbit. That's the girl who glued her hand to her head once. But all right, if you say so, I'm counting on you, Estelle. Got it. Takes care of the first wave. How's it coming, Estelle? I'm entering the combination for the maintenance panel right now. I'm pretty sure the code was 544818. It's open. Sometimes I'm too smart for my own good. I'm okay here, Estelle, so just focus on fixing the lamp. Got it. Now for the orbit, which goes in like that, and voila. Perfect. Good work, Estelle. All the monsters seem to have gone too. Whew. I sure got all stressed out over this job. Considering the circumstances, it seems pretty reasonable to me. But the thing is that the thing that surprises me the most is that you remember the combination. You want to know the truth? I actually just saw a jumble of numbers in my head, and the buttons I happened to press were the right ones. I should have figured as much. You're something else. But anyway, our job is done here, so let's just think about something else. I guess you're right. All right, how about we head back to the town? We better go report to Freddy. All right, let's go. That 
was easy. We're back, Freddy. Oh, hi, Estelle. From the look of your face, it seems you finished the job. Yep, and we did a fine job too, although we did have a few hangups. We thought we'd report it to you as a matter of good measure. Reported the events which occurred on the Milch Main Road. It really was a burnt out, huh? I'm sure it happened because we were late replacing it. Sorry, kids, but you were put in harm's way because of me. No need to apologize. It comes with, it comes with the territory. Noodling with dangerous jobs is part of a bracer's work. I appreciate you saying that. Oh, I know. How about I give you this to make amends? Impede 2. This is a quartz? Yep, it's an Impede 2 quartz. It can prevent an enemy's arts. It can be pretty useful if used effectively. Thanks. We appreciate it. No, oh, thanks to both of you today. If you need to discuss anything about orbments, then stop by anytime. Don't forget to swing by if you have any other business needs. Cool. Need more green. Dolphin hmm. Guard. Is Junior Bracer 8th class. Oh, oh. Well, guys, um, already like 9.40. We're going to stop Trails in the Sky a little early tonight. So I can go take care of some stuff before it's time for Tactics Ogre. So the stream will be down for about 15 minutes. And I'll be back at 10 with Tactics Ogre. So come by for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'll be back, Claire. I'll be back. <laughs>